What did I see? I saw seven Christs. They were men of sorrow. What did I hear? That picture and voice followed and haunted me. They formed my conscience. Gannon was called by God to combat injustice and would rebuild the foundation of social welfare in our community and abroad, opening the door for millions who otherwise would have no access to quality education, medical care, or in many cases, a welcoming religious community or even a home. John Mark Gannon was born June 12, 1877 on West 11th Street in Erie, Pennsylvania. He attended St. Patrick's School and the Old Central School on 10th Street and took his first job as a bookkeeper, simultaneously studying Latin. Seeing the rise of labor unions in the late 19th century, Gannon was aware of workers' frustrations, and he developed a passion for fighting social inequity through education. He would later explain, for some time I have been conscious of a cruel inequality. Those whose parents are wealthy may set out for college. The sons of working men, however, no matter how virtuous or talented, are forced to give up hope of a college education. After two years in the workforce, Gannon began his seminary studies at St. Bonaventure College. He was ordained to the priesthood in 1901 and continued his studies in Rome, fearful that he would eventually be assigned to a parish far from his hometown and that his ties to the local community would be severed. But to his surprise, he became Bishop of Erie in 1920 following the death of the beloved Bishop John Fitzmaurice, who had recommended Gannon for the position. Bishop Gannon immediately devoted himself to his native community with a building campaign yet unmatched in the history of the diocese. A highly skilled organizer, Gannon founded the Cathedral Preparatory School for Boys, many local parishes, and Cathedral College, which would eventually become Gannon University. Then in 1936, Gannon reached out beyond the local community. It was in the aftermath of the Mexican Revolution and brutal persecution of religion was widespread in Mexico. Gannon became chairman of the board for the Montezuma Seminary, and in the mountainous landscape of Montezuma, New Mexico, he was commanded by God to strengthen the suffering people along the difficult path which they must tread. Gannon worked for years as chairman of the board in order to establish a national seminary for the Church of Mexico. He gathered support from dioceses across the United States, since such an enterprise within Mexican borders would have quickly been halted. No priests had been ordained in Mexico in over 30 years, but Gannon's Montezuma Seminary, finally established outside the reach of the Mexican government, saved the Church of Mexico from falling to Marxism. Gannon recalled of his success at Montezuma, I felt like a pilgrim who had at last reached the haven of home. Archbishop Gannon is also credited with founding the Gannondale Home for Girls, Harbor Creek Training School for Boys, St. Joseph's Home for Children, the Erie Day Nursery, and several hospitals throughout the diocese. The crowning joy of his career is St. Mark Seminary on East Grandview Boulevard. After serving the church for 67 years, on September 5, 1968, John Mark Gannon returned to God, having ensured social equality for millions in our community and around the world. <laughs>